virtualization initially came about as a way to run one operating system from within another operating system. For example, let's say way back in 2003, we're running Windows 2000 Professional on our desktop, and we needed to test out Windows XP in order to roll it out to our environment. Well, we may not have had a lot of different spare hardware laying around in order to test out Windows XP. Well, what we could do is actually create a virtual machine on our desktop that was running Windows 2000 Professional. And on that virtual machine, we could run Windows XP. So basically, we had a physical desktop that was running Windows 2000 Professional and a virtual machine that was running Windows XP. And that allowed us to test Windows XP out with different configurations without needing extra hardware. So that was a great way we could use virtualization. But there wasn't a huge need for mass virtualization back then. And the reason for that was hardware capacity. For example, here we have a rack of servers. And let's say in 2003, each one of these servers might have had 4 gigs of memory in them and maybe dual processor. Well, each one of these servers would be running an operating system like Windows Server 2000 or maybe Windows Server 2003. And that operating system would need all of those resources. So it would need those 4 gigs of memory and maybe those two processors. So the concept of putting virtual machines on this server really didn't make sense because there wasn't enough hardware capacity for those virtual machines. So if we needed 12 operating systems and basically 12 times 4, 48 gigs of memory, then we would need 12 physical servers. And of course, we would install the operating system directly onto the server. But what happened really over the last four to six years is there was a huge jump in hardware. So now memory was a lot cheaper. There was a lot higher density with memory. Processors, now we have multi-core processors. So basically, our servers became much, much more powerful. So now when we'd go out and buy a new server, it might have 16, 32, or even 64 gigs of memory in it. And I'm talking about four to six years ago. But we might still be running an older operating system on that server. And normally, that operating system didn't need all that memory or processor. So a lot of the resources were idle. Maybe one server might be you know, using 5% of the processor and maybe... 10% of the memory. Well, that was a huge waste of resources because those servers were very expensive and, of course, they took power to run and they put out a lot of heat. So we had to cool them with AC and that also cost money. So we were spending all this money on resources that were being wasted. Along came virtualization, mass virtualization, and what we could do is we could consolidate. So instead of these 12 physical servers, we could buy one server, one physical server that might have had 64 gigs of RAM and maybe, you know, two six-core processors. And that computing power was as much or more than all 12 of these physical servers. So on that one new physical server that we bought, we would run what's called a hypervisor. And that was a platform that allowed us to virtualize these physical servers and run them as virtual machines. And we're going to be talking a lot more about virtual machines in the next movie. So really that's why virtualization is so huge right now is it saves us a lot of money. So now we have one server instead of 12 in this example, less electricity to run the server because we're only running one instead of 12, less AC we're using because it's easier to cool one server instead of 12 less support costs for our hardware, less rack space we're using in our data center, or if we're at a colo where we're actually paying for rack space, it's going to save us money there. And then as the virtualization technologies progressed, we have even better features, things about redundancy. We can create clusters, and our virtual machines can seamlessly move between one physical server and another physical server. So we can really think of virtualization as the ability to run multiple operating systems on a physical server, whereas before in the past we would just have one operating system on a physical server.
And really the way we're do this, we're able to do this is through virtual machines. So now let's talk about what virtual machines are in the next movie.